is up YouTube what's up welcome back man all right so today's the day guys today we are doing some trans am content I know y'all don't really y'all really aren't interested in the truck I noticed that but it's all right anyway we'll continue with that on a side note but today yeah we're working on the trans am all right guys so this is what we got we got the torque arm the this is from this is from founder performance um real good company i mean they don't have a lot of they don't have a lot of uh parts or options for these cars yet but what they do have you know it's pretty good stuff i've used some of their other stuff um and it hasn't failed me yet so i went ahead and got the torque arm so we're going to be installing that today we'll do a little diy step by step uh show you how i did it i mean obviously it probably there's probably a million different ways to do it but i'll show you all the way i did it and what worked for me and yeah but uh here are some of the parts that came with it this is the hardware that we're going to be using some tools that i kind of already know that we're going to use just going to lay them out there just so i don't have to be digging for them got two more jack stands because we're going to need two jack stands in the front two jack stands in the back um to remove and then once we're going to go ahead and reinstall it i guess the instructions say um to go ahead and put load on the tires so we'll go ahead and load put load on the tires in the back that way we can get the angle because we are going to set the pinion angle on this or is it the pinion angle i, I believe it's called the pinion angle anyway we're, we are going to set the angle on this and i'll show y'all how to do that too uh we got a got our digital angle finder so we'll be using this a little screen on it little overspray from when we were spraying the truck but anyway um i'll remove this and then i'll show y'all how we're gonna head and find the angle for that but yeah let's get started first thing first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jack up the car all the way up probably remove the back tires for now just to make it a little bit easier on us to get around in there and stuff so we'll go ahead and do that all right we got it jacked up the next thing the instruction sections now say to remove the three large bolts holding the torque arm to the rear end so we'll go ahead and go do that down there i'll try to get the camera down there and put some light so y'all can see some of what i'm doing but let's go ahead and get down there all right so we're going to remove these bolts that are holding the torque arm to the rear end so we'll go ahead and do that now i'll try to get it on the camera if not kind of hard to re record and do this but yeah so it says remove the bolts that hold the, the arm to the rear end so we're gonna go ahead and take those off now all right so we've got the cross the not the cross member <laughs> the torque arm out we got the original torque arm out but we are we did run into a few little issues and i'll explain right now and i'll explain what the fix is going to be so the instructions tell you to remove these two bolts first right well yeah you can undo them but they're kind of stuck so you have to undo the front too you have to loosen up the front all the three bolts that hold the clamp together you have to undo those make them loose that way you can move this around and you can get these up you can free them up so they'll come up so that's one thing so one thing i would suggest is loosen everything up first and then try to take these out and then pull the arm out now for so this is where the the front of the torque arm goes right so on the instructions it says you have to use this one so in order to use this rubber piece to hold it the new one you have to grind out those rivets so there's one two for this side and then two on the other side but in order to get the other side out we have to lower the transmission down all right let's see if we could kind of explain and you guys can get an idea so this so this mount right here, the other side of the mount, goes like that. Let me see if, well, you can't pull this out. You gotta lower this, trans, you gotta lower the transmission down. So we we'll go ahead and undo the cross member, get a jack down here and kind of lower it down a little bit to where we can free this up. And let me see if I can get some light. So we can free this other side of the mount right here. See if you look, 
there is one rivet right there that you have to undo. I mean, we could probably we can probably get a drill in here and drill those rivets out, but I think it's easier just to undo this, lower the transmission down, and get this bracket out of here. See, there's another another rivet there, another rivet there. So you have to you have to drill or grind the rivets out to get this old bushing out, and use your new one. So in order to do that, because this doesn't come out, you gotta go ahead and undo the cross member, put a jack under here, lower this down, get this free, and undo the rivets. So we'll go ahead and do that now. But that's one issue that we just ran into that you know you will probably run into too. Alright, let's get this down. Alright, so scratch that. Lowering the transmission did not help at all. I mean, we probably could have done other stuff to lower it more, but I wasn't going to go further than just um, removing the cross member and seeing if it would lower it enough. It didn't lower it enough, so we went ahead and uh, for this one, we just drilled out and dremeled out the rivets. Here it is. And then on the other side, the one, the one that's on the transmission, we went ahead and just dremeled out the rivets too. That side came out good. All right, so next on the instructions was to reinstall the bracket back on. So this bolt is back on and this bolt is back on. So they're both tight. Uh, it did say to leave the top one. So I can see it. So this top one up here is said to leave it loose. So that one's just there loose. The bushing is back on. So the next thing was to go ahead. So they send you this little pack of lube. So it says you gotta use this lube to lube up the hole. This hole where your torque arm's gonna go, you gotta lube that hole up, guys. Lube your hole up so it goes, it slips right in. So you gotta use this, lube it up, and then on to the next step. All right, well that took a little bit of work, but we got the arm in. I mean, every, the hardware is still loose, like these. Man, I think these down here were the hardest for me. You gotta like, it takes a little bit of working around, moving stuff around so everything lines up so that you can get the holes to line up from the top so they go all the way to the bottom. But on these, so on this one, uh, you're gonna be on the outside hole. All right, this is a better angle. So if you look, you got two holes right there, so you're gonna be on the outside holes. I guess that's, I don't know, that's where the picture shows it. It is nowhere, it it doesn't tell you anywhere what holes to use, but those are what shows on the picture. If you go to the Founders Performance uh, website, that's where it's at. And from the looks of it, even if you use the other ones, I think you'd be too close to the drive shaft, so you probably wouldn't wanna do that. So that's why I show, it puts you on there. But yeah, those two were the hardest for me to line up. Other than that, I mean, these are already tight. Those are already tight. I got, those are still loose. I got to tie those up. And then the bushing up front, I got to tie that up, that one bolt that we left loose. But so far, it's looking good. I mean, it's dirty, but I mean, it looks nice. Uh, so I'm going to tie everything up. And then the next thing we're gonna do is probably put a load on the wheels on the backside, and we're gonna start doing the pinion angle. All right, so we cleaned up a little bit. We set the car up, we loaded the car up on the back. So as you can see, it did, there is a load on it. Those jacks are just under it. Just They're not holding anything up. They're just there just in case anything falls, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So that's why they're there, but they're not actually holding the car up. The car is actually being held up by those uh, ramps over there in the back. So there is a load on the back, on the rear end. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, so I already got, already got the front. So the front is at 3.30. You gotta go minus two degrees. So we need to be on the back. We need to be at 1.30. So I'll show, show you exactly how it is. Let's go down there and I'll show you exactly what I mean. 
All right, so this is what I mean by 3.30. So obviously I'm holding it up right now, so it's not as stable. 3.30 right there, that's what I mean. So it's obviously, I'm holding it up, so that's why it moves up and down. So that's our starting point right there. 3.30, that's what I meant. All right, so here in the back, we're at 4.10, and we need to be down at 1.30. So we got everything loosened up. Now we just got to start turning this and get to 1.30 all right so we're at 2.90 we gotta keep going we gotta keep turning this Undo. Get. all right so there it is we're at 1.30 so now we just gotta lock all everything up tying everything up again and our pinion angle is set then we'll clean up and go for a test drive. All right, guys, we're back. We test drove it. It drove fine. There was no issues, no clunking or anything like that. I do hear some people, whenever they put these torque on, they hear clunking. I didn't hear anything. I mean, the car drove fine. Um, so, I mean, other than that, that was it, guys. I mean, that was a torque arm install. I mean, hope, hopefully you guys stuck around throughout the whole video and I didn't bore you all that much, but that's how you do it. That's that's how I did it, at least. Y'all saw the issues that I ran into. Hopefully this video helps y'all out. I got this from Founders Performance. There it is. Y'all want to go on there, check them out, see what they have. But anyways, guys, we'll see you on the next one.